turn that down. Turn the TV down. All right, everybody, we are live again. Dynasty the Mirror Search for Huru. And I have a special guest in the studio today, Brother Dewan Owens, all the way from North Carolina. And we out here. And, uh, he, actually, Dewan has been on before, actually. Uh, and today's topic is Are people using consciousness as an excuse not to compete? Mm. You know, we were talking about this earlier. You know, the whole money is evil. You don't need no money, brother. Uh, be one with the universe. Right, right. You know, right. Uh, expand on that. Well, you know, a lot of times when we when we think about consciousness, and I'm gonna be off as a vague term, but lack of a better word, you come into some some type of knowledge, right, about the uh, African people's position in the world mm -hmm. and competing. Uh, you find a lot of people they want to use their ideology as an excuse not to compete. They want to use their ideology as an excuse not to focus on honestly what needs to be done and that is basically acquiring power and um ch changing the position that african people are in this world in comparison to other people specifically uh white people and, and white power hmm. brother why is there why do people associate being woke with being broke do you i, I think a lot of times you know there it's easy to create a lane for yourself by being some type of I don't know, educator, you know, as our brother Khalid Muhammad used to say, you got everything on the wall, not a goddamn thing on the ball. Right. <laughs> he said, you know, you got your Africa on, you dressed up Africa. So he used to. But um, Khalid Muhammad was born. Oh, for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah. He was serious about it because we, we understand we still live in this capitalist system. So regardless of how you feel about uh, capitalism or not, this is the system that we operate in and it's not going to change anytime soon. Right. So regardless of what we're advocating for. We need to uh, protect ourselves. You know, we need to insulate ourselves as much as we can from, um, of course, the harshest uh, realities of racism and white supremacy, but also black uh, solidarity in addition to that. And a lot of that is going to be predicated on being in a position to control our time and controlling what we focus on. To be in control of your time, a lot of that is predicated on being in control of your money, mm -hmm. right? Because in the capitalist system, your, your time is your money. You understand? Right. The reason we can have these type of conversations that we have right now is because I don't need to spend this this second right now working. Right. right? So we, we 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 can't separate that. You know, the the, the revolution has to be financed. Mm. Say it again. That's important. The revolution has to be financed, right? And again, these are things that our, our ancestors have said plenty of time. But we we can't lose we can't lose sight of that. You know, we can't let. Um, so in, in to piggyback on that. In addition, you have times where people. Um, we want to focus on everything but competing, right. right? We want to say, you know, you know, money isn't money isn't real, brother, because technically, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a fiat yeah, system. It's just and it's just, and it's just like, paper. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to compete. You're not where you want to be. That's okay. There's no shame in saying we don't have this, mm -hmm. right? But but we don't need to lie to ourselves and say that this is not important because this literally dictates every aspect of our life, every, every aspect of our life, how we navigate the world, how we move through the world. Um, our inter interpersonal relationships, are we in a position to take care of our family? All of this shit is predicated on, um, unfortunately, uh, uh, money or power in this system. And power, at this point, a lot of it is predicated on uh, capital. Hmm. So, where, so where does it come from? Like, I mean, I, I just don't understand what, what... Okay, here we go. So brothers will talk about how they can use their mental powers to fly, disappear. Right. Uh, well, you, you know, know we're really salamanders, brother. You know salamanders, <laughs> right, right, right. But then they ask for money to pay for the phone bill. Right, right, right. And they tell you that money's not important. Because people know, right? Pe people know. And I'm not, you know, I'm not beating up on folk, but we know what it is. You know, you hear a lot of times, a lot of young folk, um, well, not young folk, but you hear people using the word woke. And, you know, who's right. woke? Who, everybody's woke. You know what I'm saying? You, some of these folks are playing sleep. You know what I mean? But we all know what it is. We all know what time it is. So, um I think a lot of that comes from wanting some sense of control, um, even if it's uh, or, or, or capital, right? So I don't have real capital, so I'm going to prioritize social capital. You understand? What people think about me, how people feel about me, my self-esteem is going to be predicated on whatever level of regard I feel people hold me. Right. And if people hold me in a high regard based off of information, where if we honest about it, it is, I'm, they're not saying anything that has not been said. Right, you can go on YouTube. Right, look at these these books that have been out for decades. Um, so rehashing, regurgitating old info information and mixing it up into some hodgepodge 
mix of then debating about it. You, you hear me? Debating other black folk too, not all just debating, right, but right. don't, don't get me started. Um, you know, we, we can't we're not focused on the real fight, so I need to get these cheap wins somewhere else. You know, mm -hmm. social capital is in some people's mind currency, and it's not. Shout out to uh Baruti Katimbo. He says, Why is the innovative use of economic resources should be tied as a component of pan-African culture? Mm, is mm. that something that's missing right now? It is, it is. And the and the thing is, if you are a student of pan-Africanism and you understand not that it's just about Garvey, but if we use Garvey for an example, we spoke about this recently. Look, look at the am ambition that Garvey had. You understand? Not just the things that he accomplished, but the things that he he he, he strived for. Mm -hmm. uh, we I said it earlier. You you tell folk you want to do some things that he said damn near a decade ago, and they'll look at you like you're crazy. Like, right. what, what you think about, man? You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You know, you know we're not allowed to do that. That white man won't let us do that. Right. Uh, we, we need to strive. We need to have ambition. We need to think big. You understand? Mm -hmm. We need to, uh, and a lot of that is going to be when we're in a position to 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 move forward the way we want to in this economic system so one getting your paper is important and not only getting getting money but doing what we're supposed to do with the money not just finding ways to spend a little bit of money we have looking like we have more money you know what i mean like that's very very uh this is it's a big problem we have a lot of times well people in general i don't want to just say there's some innate to black folk but we don't have the luxury of having that type of problem right i don't want to spend a little bit of money i have looking like i have money right we, we can look at the data we know what what black people got we know we don't got there ain't no mm -hmm. shame in that now let's 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 do something with it let's build up now uh I, I don't i might come to the gambia in october when i go to senegal so i might uh peek into the uh <laughs> i might sneak into the Gan uh gambia then and then shout out to your fosa uh i'm feed on uh for the super chats you need money to combat european influence yes indeed go ahead you know, I was building on that. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, build on that. Okay, yeah. So, 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 listen. White domination and the fact that we we need to understand African people, we are we are dominated. Let's just let's just let's just keep it simple. We are dominated. You understand? White power, power is in its economy. It's in its economy. Our brother, uh, our brother. Plenty of our ancestors have said this. I'm saying Stokely Carmichael, but I want to say Stokely Carmichael. Mm -hmm. what is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said that, you know, if someone wants to kill me, that's his problem. But if he has the power to kill me or the power to press me, that's my, my problem. You understand? So all of this comes down to power. In, in the capitalist system, power a lot of times is predicated on, on, on money. Now, that's not the only avenue to power. You still have power through influence. You still have power through solidarity. But with capital power, you can get people to act outside of their own interests. And this is why you see people cooning. You know, and being collaborators, you you have people wondering why people are cooning. This is it's no secret because it's, they they're getting some benefits from it. Now we understand cooning doesn't have a retirement plan, right? But again, if it was not beneficial to people, they wouldn't do it, right? Mm -hmm. If it was beneficial for more people to be on team black, on team African, on team justice, or team liberation, then they would be on that team. You understand? Mm -hmm. But it's up to folk who are are rocking with it regardless to make it feasible to people, mm -hmm. make it beneficial. Let let some people see. You know what it could be because some people just want to be on the winning team unfortunately mm -hmm. and then you got a, a lot of folk who because they don't feel like uh you know speaking allegorically this this white man can be conquered or our his our power relation to him then they just want to find a way to make you know to concede mm -hmm. and just like we say create their little clean safe space in the uh slave quarters as opposed to revolution let me ask you this. People keep, in fact, Baruti just brought it up again. I, I hear this all the, all the time. Should we be focusing on socialism or capitalism when it comes? Good question. So this is just, again, my opinion. We're all students, you understand? Um, if we look at a lot of our Pan-African leaders, you know, our, our brother uh, Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. Thomas Sankara, so many of our, of, our, of our great ancestors were socialists, you understand? Mm -hmm. Right. But again, to advocate for something, it doesn't mean it exists right now. You understand? Um, we are still bound by, we don't We don't live outside of the system. You know what I mean? Regardless of the reality, uh, regardless of how we feel about something, we still live inside the system. It does not exist in a social vacuum. I can't, we can't study this world on the outside of it and look at what's going on. We live right. within it, okay? So we, the same way you still can benefit uh, from a capitalist system, you can still be oppressed by it. So I think a lot of times when we think about theory, 
we can theorize shit all day, but that does not change the real world uh, that we live in. So I, I agree. I believe some version of socialism is ultimately the way. I think that capitalism in itself is inherently, uh, I want to say evil, but it, it, it creates, it necessitates an imbalance. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I don't see that system changing anytime soon. Not in my life, not my children's 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 life. Um, so we can advocate for, and also these things aren't, you know, diametrically opposed to, right? We still have things that are still from a sociological basis operating outside of capitalism, the police, right. which we will get into state sanctioned terrorism, right? But, but for the most part, you know, um, uh, what else? Healthcare mm -hmm. and things like that. These are still aspects of socialism, right? So it's one thing to advocate for something. I do believe that that is the ultimate goal, but right. again, you know, until we get there, we really need to uh, be about black business, black solidarity, and not have this affinity for pot. Like there's some virtue in poverty. There's no, there's no virtue in in poverty. Poverty. People always say money is the root of evil. Poverty is evil. Poverty creates right. and that necessitates people to do what could be considered evil. evil right. Just to, just to survive. You understand? So, so yeah. Good, good, great point, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with you. But like I said, for for the here and now. We gotta we gotta do what we can and like I said, insulate ourselves from the harshest realities of uh race and white supremacy while uh gaining power. And a lot of that unfortunately is gonna be through um economic gains. Somebody a shout out to Fosa for the uh for the super chat and then shout out to uh D Can. Uh good topic as usual. Some are sleep calling it woke. Much yeah. love and respect for everybody who uh showing love on that super chat. Uh -huh. Again, you know, we in this system, right, the right, revolution right. has to be financed. Our brothers putting in this work, mm -hmm. and um, that's how we you know came together. But we're having this conversation on this platform because of this work, but also mm -hmm. because this brother had the time to do this. So mm -hmm. appreciate y'all. Let's see here. What do you think the military, Medicare, Social Security, etc. Et is socialism? No, we yeah, we we, we said that we, mm -hmm. we, we're making the same point. So I'm, I'm rocking with you, but that's exactly what we said. You might have came into the video just a, a little bit right. later, but I was telling our brother and anybody um listening that they're not diametrically opposed. So I'm not I'm rocking with you, but just skip back a little bit mm -hmm. and uh we, we made that point. But you're right. Yeah, okay, let's get the likes up. Please hit that like button again. Brother Dewan Owens is uh here with us. Now, Dewan, tell everybody how you be whooping ass, you know. You ah so MMA and yeah. for sure. So like our brothers, like like we've been speaking about uh, capitalism, right? Um, also, not using ideology as an excuse not to compete. Mm -hmm. We have to compete. We have to get competitive. African people, we have to get competitive in this world. So I would love to to sit around and theorize with my brother and 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 plan ways to dismantle this system and replace right. it with a system of justice all day. But I've got a wife. I've got children. We got moves to make. I got big goals. So uh, professionally, I'm a, I'm a prize fighter. Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'm an MMA fighter. Um, I fight in MMA. I also uh, fight kickboxing professionally. Um, just look up the one ones on YouTube. I got tons of fights and interviews out there. But you know, as as an African and as a Pan Africanist, anything that I do in this capitalist system, I have to find a way to weaponize it for our benefit. Right. 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 Our brother Dr. Clark, and I'm paraphrasing. He said anything that uh, comes into our life, we have to use it as an instrument of our liberation or throw it in the trash. As the young folks say, facts, you know, that's, facts. that's you big understand? Facts. Big facts. That's, that's timeless, right? Mm -hmm. So in addition to um, fighting professionally, you know, if I if I think about it in the grand scheme of things, you know, what is fighting doing, right? I'm just entertaining folk. I'm making money, but I'm entertaining folk. So I started teaching self-defense and um, you know, we go. I go to the continent, Uganda specifically, but I've been to six countries on the continent, and we teach uh, self defense. In addition to teaching self defense, let's be honest, we we use the self defense as an incubator to get the type of conversations mm -hmm. that we want to get started. Started. You can't go to some stranger and say, you know, hey, let's talk about sexual violence and who's vulnerable, right? Right. But these uh, self defense uh, seminars kind of create the environment where. That topic of discussion is cool. Mm -hmm. And I'll no, go, go, go. Now, Raul Path Pather says, I want the brothers in MMA to unite like the Brazilians and whites are. Now, let's, yes, let's, let's look at yes, indeed, brother. Heavyweight. Uh, yeah. Brother from Belgium, the black brother from Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ghana. And Ghana. So, uh, so he's John not, Jones. John Jones. And then uh, you got the Nigerian brother. The, our brother Kamaru Uzman just won. And then, just got, and then you got the. Hold on. Is it the, the last skinny cap that fights out of San Jose, from San Jose? Wasn't he the heavyweight? Oh, Kane. Yeah, a while back. Kane. 
He's not a champ anymore. So right now, hey, right now, it? DC, DC, uh, Daniel Cormier is a champ. The, okay, so okay, Daniel Cormier. Oh, that may be who you was talking about because he has the same campus. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so Cormier, yeah, so 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 listen, we understand. All black. Exactly. Uh -huh. So so listen, y'all know what it is. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's a level playing field, we all know what's up. Right. And this is <laughs> don't don't get it twisted. This isn't just based on physicality. This yeah. doesn't matter if it's something that's, right. that's strictly intellectual right. or, or or something just rigorous in other ways. Whenever it doesn't even have to be a level playing field. Whenever it's close enough, you see what happens, right? right? But we still got to put this work in. Right. And if you think about the, the numbers alone, uh, African people, whether they're at on, from the continent or, or the diaspora, but obviously mostly it's Africans in America. Um, you know, the majority of fighters are not black. You know, if right. I go into an MMA gym or a right. jiu-jitsu gym, you might see a handful of black folks, right? There's a lot of black folks in my gym. That well, that, you, you, Atlanta, Atlanta, you Atlanta, 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 don't get it twisted. Atlanta, this is an anomaly, yeah. you know, and I love it. Uh -huh. But um, but yeah, you know, this is this is what we got to do. So I, I agree with that brother's point, man. Whenever we have people that are are um in a, a significant position, All right? You know, that's where that level of influence comes from. You know what I mean? You remember when our brother Ali, uh, when he came out publicly and like, look, I'm not I'm not doing this. You know, I'm not doing this draft. You know what I'm saying yeah, a lot of people don't understand it. Jim Brown. Uh, uh, who else was there? Uh, uh the Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte. And it was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, right? A lot. They they came together and they they, they basically insulated our brother. Like, yeah. look, y'all can't. None of this shit gonna operate with right. all without all of us right here. And we we saying our brother has something to say. Mm -hmm. And so so that's to to, to build on this uh, brother's point. That's a, that's a good example. That's what we need to do anyway, right? Now something like MMA or any sport is very easy for us to see, but we need to do that in life. We need to do that in every aspect of life because. Every aspect of life and every aspect of this economic system is being weaponized to oppress you. So we need to, you know, compete in every aspect. If you want right. to be a teacher, be a revolutionary teacher. You know what I mean? If, if you, if whatever you're doing, use that position and use that specialization to benefit your people. And understand a specialization is important. We cannot just change the mm -hmm. the, 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 the the dynamic, the power dynamic mm -hmm. off of ideology alone. This is what frustrates me so much when people talk about, well, see, black people need to do this. We need right. to think like this. Right. Because then you put the onus on us like we're in this position because our spirituality or some other shit isn't right. Yeah. That's not true. That, that's 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 ridiculous. We're the most spiritual, good-hearted people in the world. Mm -hmm. We're in this position because of, of real-world tangible shit isn't going our way. Right. So, you know, spirituality could be what drives you to do something, but that can't be everything. What, what you actually do because of that drive is is is, is uh, right. what's important. You did. Well, you, you were just in Uganda, right? Yeah, yeah. I was. I, I came back from Uganda two uh, two weeks ago. What's the situation between Uganda and Rwanda? Do you are you? Have you yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, obviously there's some there, there's conflict, mm -hmm. but the Ugandan government. Um, what's the brother? Uh, not a brother. Museveni. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, cool. We'll talk off record. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Museveni. Um, he has allowed a lot of Rwandans to, to come in, a lot yeah. of children that were so there's some there's some good things in place, you know what I mean? Uh, children that have had issues with their parents, they have like basically like a better word, sanctuary right. areas, but there's, there's 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 a lot of conflict, you know, going on. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, unfortunately, that is that that Dr. Amos Wilson always talked about maladjustment because we are dominated. Right. Anytime you're dominated anywhere, there's going to be some level of maladjustment it necessitates me the fact that you are dominated mm -hmm. right so this isn't to to um take the onus off of uh african involvement in a lot of the issues that we have but understand if it wasn't this issue it would be something else right. because we're not operating in the way that we should be operating we're mm -hmm. under someone else's control so we're beholden to them uh, shout out to you, Fosa. Uh, look up microfinancing our dollars can help african entrepreneurs build farms and yes businesses. indeed that's a, yeah, but the, again, the overly conscious folks will say, you know, money is evil and, you know, yeah. listen, listen, I, I'll say it again. I don't have to agree with it. I didn't create this world. You didn't either, but you live in it. So you better you better find a way to get competitive because, why, you know, this isn't just a spiritual fight. I'm not knocking spirituality. I'm not knocking any of that. But we can understand if it was spiritual in itself, we would have won a long time ago. Because you, you, we, a spirit less people mm -hmm. are dominating us. Not only a spirit less people, but 10% of the world population. 10% mm -hmm. of the world population. And again, to, to quote our brother again, Dr. Amos always said, you cannot have a, a, a segment of society as small as 10% who are, 
ruling on the other 90% on the basis of truth, justice, and honesty. It's impossible. In addition to that, in addition to what they're doing, we must be operating out of our mind. We must right. be operating backwards. And that backwards thinking is on the prioritization of every abstraction besides being competitive in this world as, as it operates. Uh, was RBG Warrior says that he wants to reach out to you about starting an MMA school. So, brother, um, please do so real quick. I'm not here to plug my stuff. But no, no, yeah, yeah, you, hit, are, you are here to you plug yourself. You know, yeah, you are here. Hit me up on Facebook. The one on is DJ UAN OWNS, brother. I travel around teaching seminars everywhere. When I'm in the con, when I'm uh, on the continent, of course, it's free for the family. Stateside, if it's a school like a college or something, you already know I'm busting them over the head. But if we got family um, in the states. That's about this 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 work this this pan this work this work for justice work for African liberation. I'll, I'll, I'll rock with you. I don't care about how to fly myself out there and get it in. Just hit me up. We'll we'll get it popping. I'm I, I'm serious about uh, um, doing work with uh, with African people, especially in terms of uh, things that's gonna help our community. It's very important to me. Hmm. So hit me up. Let's see here. The Jews understand money. Uh, he doesn't vote for politicians and judges. He buys them. As the young folks say, All right. Facts. All right. So, so it's so it's a balance too, right? Our brother Dr. Amos and Dr. Claude always talked about. You know, it's not that there's no power at all in politics, but it doesn't mean anything. It's just political theater unless there's some economics there, unless it's the base there, right? Mm -hmm. So, the power in politics. You know, one thing that Jewish people do a really good job of is um, finding ways to like the 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 power relation between America and Israel. Right. Uh, Jewish Americans do an amazing job. They one they they know who they are. They know who their allegiance is to, right? So they use they do what they can to to um, funnel basically any advantages that they can right. to their homeland. And a lot of people have you know they can say what they want about it, but that's what they're supposed to do. Right. And this is an extremely small uh, segment of uh, American society. This is what African people need to be doing. Right. And we, we got to get out of this idea like, oh, what's in it for me? Right. One, if, 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 if Africa is not respected and is not a, a, a superpower, then no African person in the diaspora is going to be mm -hmm. respected. You understand? Right. So so we we, we, we got to understand that. Mm. Let's see, see what else we got. Everyone, again, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I mean, there's just again, how do we dispel this whole woke equals broke myth? Like, yes, how do yes, we... indeed. Okay, so it's about I think this again, family. This is just my opinion, right? And understand where I'm at on, on my level of development. I may feel differently ten years from now, may for the view, but but at this point, I feel uh, another elephant in the room that we haven't spoke about is the uh, religion to a certain degree, regardless of what the religion is. I think religion, especially when we talk about African people in America um plays a big part on on our our idea that there's some inherent virtue in poverty mm -hmm. you know what i mean and um that's 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 crucial matter of fact i got some hot fire for y'all real quick you let me get this phone, phone. Yeah, yeah yeah talk yeah talk to the family real quick talk to the Good. family real quick give me give me again, 30 seconds again everyone thank you so much for joining rbg warrior what uh what questions do you have oh, no but, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna answer that everyone in like a second I go, got ahead, go ahead you, you know it. who could do it better than I could do it, my brother. Uh -huh. you, you know who could do it. Hold on a second. You say R RBG Warrior wants to hop on, but I'm trying to figure out what. Ooh, ooh, go ahead, ooh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to hit him. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Family. This is our brother, Dr. Amos Wilson. If you don't look, get familiar, blueprint the black power. Listen, this this, this piggybacks right. This is the essence of the, the, the question that our brother just asked. Right. Okay. So he said, the oppressed and downtrodden have been traumatized by the abuse of power by their powerful oppressors often to come to perceive power itself as inherently evil as by nature corrupting and therefore as something to be eschewed denied or renounced the pursuit of power is viewed as unworthy or virtuous persons and the desire to possess it as sinful therefore many among the powerless and poor feel compelled to find their powerlessness and poverty the emblematic signs of their godliness and redemptive salvation how convenient a precept for rationalizing and maintaining the power of the haves over those or the have nots. As a result of their ideological manipulation by the powerful and their own re reactionary misperception of reality, the poor and powerless have been made to perceive how fire coming. The poor and powerless have been made to perceive the pursuit, possession, and application of power in their own behalf as something unbecoming of themselves. And wrapping it up right here, family. 
This is even more the case when through the naive acceptance of self-serving deceptive propaganda perpetuated by the powers that be um, their nursing or their internalized inferiority complexes, the poor and huddled masses perceive the possession and exercise of power as the inherent and exclusive prerogative of the ruling class family. That's a lot to unpack, but oof. That's an excerpt from my brother Amos Wilson, the blueprint of black power. But but the essence of what he's talking about is this assumption that there's some virtue in poverty. Right. Because we're a spiritual people naturally, right? right? Regardless of what we are, we are a spiritual rhythmic people. You understand? Um, we 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 prioritize that, and because we've only seen power weaponized against us or power weaponized to to harm folk. We haven't seen power as a tool for justice. Mm -hmm. So some power, whether it's money or anything else. So sometimes that inherent association with power or money as evil is what keeps people from doing what they have to do. In addition to the fact that because we don't have money, right. you want to act like it's not a big deal. Right. right? You you think about young folk, right? Mm -hmm. if, if this thing is popular and right. you and you're the only one that don't have it, what right. you gonna say, man? Y'all that don't matter. Right. That, don't, that don't matter. Y'all need to get up on this. All right. Y'all need to get up on this. This right. don't matter. These these kicks or this whatever don't matter. It's because we don't have it, and there's no shame in, in admitting that. But we need to understand where that uh, where that comes from. I asked I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. Appreciate you, brother. Richard didn't get. The, you have to hit the uh, notification bell, um, Travis Irwin, if you didn't get the uh, the YouTube notification. So. There's virtue in manifesting funds. I agree. Speak on it, black man. That was a brother, right? I, 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 Nanny, you know, who, who said that? Who said that? Love three four. That's a that's a woman. Speak on the system. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so I am an Indian. We moved on with the colonialism, and we focus on working hard. That's bullshit. But go ahead. Stop trolling. Yeah, he's trolling. I know that man. Go to your people chat. This is about African liberation. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to be a guest in this house, you can be here, but shut your ass up and listen. Mm -hmm. Come here derailing the conversation. Yeah. Here we go. If all add me feed on, thank you for the super chat. Let's let it simplify this. Chinese may have co communism ideology, but they have the People's Republic physical construct of China, Asia race. Yes, it's indeed. all about race first. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And to be pro yourself is not about being anti anyone else. I'm not prioritizing anyone else. I don't have time to hate you. I don't even have time to think about you. Mm -hmm. I'm too busy loving black folk and trying to build. And again, mm -hmm. we don't have the, the luxury not to prioritize that. So, mm. uh, Baruti uh, Katimbo says, Dewan, please address socialism needs capital, money, um, and natural resources. Uh, to operate a tweaking blend of Ujamaa's idea Ubuntu and K Katoshia will help build pan African economic development. True. Yes, indeed, a hundred percent true. And I love the point that his brother just made. Right. So, y'all find our brother's comment or wonder what our brother Don just said and listen to what his brother said. For a socialist system to operate, to operate, there already has to be a base level of capital. Right. So y'all understand that. Mm -hmm. Right. This isn't a. This isn't a either war. Right. Let's see here. Someone's asking, is your wife black? Yes, but are you <laughs> is that a brother? Uh D1. I don't know. Brother, come on. Of course my wife is black. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. Not not to brag, but my wife is fine as hell too. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's a business owner, she's doing her thing. Of course. Don't be don't be crazy. Mm -hmm. Why would you ask them like that? I, I mean that they, they, they just asked the question. I mean, I don't know. I just have to, you know, because they're talking about John Jones and you know MMA fighters and someone. Yeah, saying but John okay. Jones so listen. Well, so so they, let me know. all right. Let me be clear. So to put people in any kind of box because of their sport or their job is right, just right. crazy anyway, right? Now on another podcast we talk about how I got into this sport, but yeah, you know, I'm a Pan Africanist, and if you are a Pan Africanist, you are black first. It doesn't matter what you say. The the, the blackest thing you can do. Is marry a black woman and raise some black kids to love their black self. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, let me ask you. So somebody told me at one time, told me before that there's going to come a time and day where we need to close all these spiritual books and, and, and you know and get just handle business. How do you feel about that? I think I don't think that day will happen. That will be a wonderful day. It's not going to happen. So since we should know that it's not going to happen, let's say, OK, let's let's focus on what we can do. Regardless of what your religion or ideology is, 
as long as you're for the upliftment of African people and liberation of African people, I'm rocking with you. Mm -hmm. You understand? As long as you're not out here cooning, as long as you're not talking about some, you know, transatlantic slave trade, so-called slave trade didn't happen. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Native American. As long right. as you're not on some, you know, or, or talking about we salamanders out in space Salamander. and all this. Yeah. As long as you're not on that, then then I'm rocking with you. As long as you, you know, you you race first, or you're not out here, or even if you're not race first, if you're not out here being, you know, detrimental no. to African people or cooning in right. some way or right. running interference for white supremacy, then then cool. You mm -hmm. understand? We can we can build along the lines of what we have to do. White. People, not specific, but white people in the terms of whiteness and what whiteness is, which is not a like, real thing, but whiteness, they have an agreed upon identification and priority of whiteness. They don't agree on a whole lot of other things. They don't agree, agree on a lot of things politically, which politics is all about to me in this country, how are we going to deal with these non-white folk, right? right. But um, besides that, that, it doesn't matter. Different religious orientations, different sexual orientations, it doesn't matter. They're prioritizing whiteness. And we see that how they run interference for each other right. whenever one of them do some crime. Right. They make sure that whiteness isn't on trial, this man is on trial, or he's crazy, or he's lone, or, or whatever. So that's that. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you, but that's a, that would be a beautiful day. And But that's a fight that I don't think is necessary to happen for us to, um, to change the power dynamic that we have, because Racism and white supremacy is an effective system, but white people as a collective, they're not always uh, on, on code, but right. this system still runs relatively smoothly because they don't need all of them to be on code. They need a lot of them to be either racist or just ignorant enough and know how to weaponize their whiteness and tap into it, you know, to be agents when they want to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we don't need every African person to be uh, a staunch pan-Africanist and mm -hmm. understand, you know, we live in a global system of white supremacy. It would be wonderful, but it's not a necessity to change the uh, the power dynamic that African people have with uh, non-African people. Someone just asked, what are your thoughts on ADOS? We, we talked about this briefly offline. Okay. I, 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 under, I understand where they're coming from. I, I, I agree with some, some, some of the talking points. Now, I completely reject the anti-African rhetoric I hear. I completely renounce it. But as far as having a claim against the U.S. government for the work and labor and blood equity that our ancestors put into building this country, my brother, I agree with that. But the anti-African rhetoric, I don't agree with. But, All right, cool. So actually, it's it's cool because I thought y'all noticed my brother, but you know, our, our our brother has he's 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 shifted right to where where I'm rocking with him, where I'm rocking with him at. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah, I think lineage is very important, especially in terms of making claims to what's due. Yeah. I'm hundred percent cool with that. But the creators of something right. really dictate the essence of something. All right. Not saying any names, but the essence of what I see, some folks, not all, who are strong opponents of uh ADOSness is uh anti-African, specifically anti-African immigrant thing, like a basically us birth them and that's just not not that it's not a thing, but it's mm -hmm. not priority. Like we, we, like I said, we talked about this off air. We have about forty million African people, uh, ADOS. Let me let me be clear. I'll say ADOS, but to me, African descendants of American slavery would not make more sense. A D O A S, but whatever. Uh -huh. But if I say I'm an American descendant of slaves, and that means I'm an American first, and I'm a, and and some other non-American people enslaved me. Right. But that's not the case. You are an African descendant of American slavery, right? But again, semantics, right? Um, but your ass is African. Not only are you African, you are a stolen African. You are a prisoner of war. As soon as we understand that we are prisoners of war, we are a dominated people, and, and how we live now is an extension of that domination, then we can be on code. The problem I have with, again, some folk who are proponents of ADOS, it is, it's a white flag thrown up in the sense that revolution isn't at the core of it. No. I'm about revolution. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care if it's if it's my my daughter's daughter's daughter, ten generations down the line. We're not going out like that. I'm not losing. I'm, I'm gonna build on. We are gonna build on the legacy that our ancestors built and that they fought and died for. I'm not accepting my lot in these little ass scraps that's due to me because this what's due is way more. And I'm not gonna prioritize arguing with other African people. For them trying to get some some damn scraps too. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now again, we gotta understand. We, we there are people who are faces right. of certain things that, that are not the majority of people. We talked about that before. A lot of times, um 
Let me say it, you know, Yvette Carnell. Go ahead. I I like Yvette. I don't agree with her on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I think the essence of what I feel like is, is revolution. I don't know if the essence of her her sentiments is that, it's but not. I've got a tremendous amount of respect for her. Mm -hmm. She does research, and I really do believe that um she has the priority of uh you know black people, right? In, in, in mind, but but the problem is, and I use the example that I used with our brother Dionys when we were talking earlier. We understand who the big bully in the yard is. Right. It's racism, white supremacy. They're dominating everyone. This reminds me of when you're a child and you, you know, you're in the cafeteria and this bully is just clowning you. He's laughing at you. And, and everybody's clowning, everybody's laughing. Instead of you holding the bully accountable, you look at this small joker right next to you, and like, what the hell are you laughing at with your your, your, your big head? And then you 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 project on him because you don't want to compete with who the real one to person you is. Now, I'm all about, I understand the difference between lineage. Lineage is important. Again, you're talking to him, I'm from Mississippi. I was born in Mississippi, Gulfport, uh, Gulfport Mississippi. This okay. is the bottom. This is the very bottom. My great grandparents were sharecroppers. I, I I can, there's absolute, and black people in America, we have very predictable migration patterns. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where we came from. I can go back maybe two centuries, right? That being said, my main enemy in this world is not some my brother or sister African who 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 came here right. who's trying to do what they got to do. That's just that's not my enemy. That's not my enemy. Now you can hold the American justice system, you can hold uh, American government accountable and say, hey, this is what's due to us. Fine, but don't think that the reason you're not getting what's due to you is because of some some African. That's crazy. Right. That's silly. And even when you think about these these puppets. Uh, I want to say you know, Amanda Seals. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, a, lot, yeah, a lot of these yeah. folks don't get me started on them. Who who cloak themselves mm -hmm. in uh in in our lineage and then you know perpetuate these silly stereotypes. Understand this is not a representation of of continental African people, of Nigerians, right. uh, of people from different places on the continent. Because you know we talk about Amanda, Amanda, Amanda Seals. I think is uh, from the island for sure, for sure. But but same 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 concept. You you're draping yourself in this and mm -hmm. then you you portray this on TV. But you only highlight like again the the, the dysfunction. Right. But anytime, but you got all kind of flags and shit from where you from on your damn Instagram. Like, oh, I'm a, I'm a spicy Negro. I'm different. <laughs> spicy you, you did say, repeat and, that again. Uh, repeat that, repeat spicy that again. Negro. Basically, I, I'm different. I'm, I'm special. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Don't don't, don't, don't don't get me started on that. But but you know, like I know, when you go to the right. continent, how does the family treat you? Oh, huh? it, it, it's all it's, you're almost Love. uncomfortable, right? Right. You're, you're almost like no, it's okay. I can do this for myself, right? right? So these are not a representation of. African people, our continent of African people. So don't don't get that twisted. So that's how I feel about it. Again, I don't want to. I'm, I'm I'm keeping a filter on my stick. I don't want to hijack the conversation. I don't have a problem with anybody advocating for what's due to us. I'm cool with that. But don't use that as an excuse to fight against you know mm -hmm. uh, our African brothers and sisters on 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 a continent who are you know trying to. You know, get in this country and, and get there. Right. I do. I do think again. There's there's some there are some problems. I hate using the word problematic. It's been right. you know used right. so much on like on, you know gender studies. And, but but there are some things that are very problematic that um I don't think that necessarily the fault of our brothers and sisters because when whenever you come, you're gonna get in how you fit in. You're right. gonna, you're gonna use your lane to get what you get. Right. You know, and you and, but you got people here that do the same thing. I when I was young, I was in the Marine Corps. I did four years in the Marine Corps. I remember this show, I was 17. I got people in the core. Well, they're they're out now, 100 percent healthy, and they 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 getting uh PTSD. Right. Shit. Uh -huh. They're like, okay, uh -huh. shit, I gotta get mine. Right. I get my time. You you get yours, how you get yours. That's 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 what this country, that's what this world is built on. Right. You understand? Right. So that's 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 my spiel on that. Maybe okay. we'll have another discussing at some point specifically on that. So mm -hmm. if you're about it, you claim ADOS. I don't have a problem with that at all. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the name ADOS. It should be African descendants of American slavery, but whatever. Semantics, fine. Nice. But your ass is African. Mm -hmm. You are not American. Until you are treated on a fair and equitable basis, you're not American. Look at every, we spoke about it earlier too. Look at every positive or significant measuring stick of success, we're at the bottom. Look at every measuring st stick of dysfunction, we're at the top. Now you think that's just because other people are working harder or they're or they're working smarter or something like that? No, it's because of racism, white supremacy. Mm -hmm. All right. Last example, we, we said this earlier too. There's no this is akin to you being in school and you dating this, you know, young fly honey, and, and she's saying y'all, you tell everybody y'all go together, right. and then she telling people y'all don't. 
Right. So, so okay, you're American, but it's about what does America recognize you? I can tell you, I, I've been to school here, right? I've, I've, I've been in the Marine Corps. I've done everything that this society says that I should do, right? But when you see me, you see a young black male. They're not going to see, they see a young black male with locks, again, because hair is political, right? right. They don't see uh, some all-American or something like that. Right. One last example, when I fighting professionally, I've got sponsors. I've got a lot of sponsors. There was a big sponsor. They were going to drop some serious cheese on your brother for a fight a couple of years ago. Oh, wow. They wanted me to cut my locks. You know, the going, oh, oh, this doesn't fit them. No. Why? Yeah. I still serve my time. I serve honestly, honorably. I did a lot of fly shit right. there from a credential perspective. But no, but why should I have to do that? You right. understand? Right. So your boy missed out on some, some paper. It, it, it was a couple of cheese. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? But But so what? Right, because they because me doing what they say is important wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. They still saw me for what I am, and you are a black man yeah. living in a system of white supremacy. So that is priority. Right. Shout out to you, Fosa, for, for showing love. I am against ADOS. Claims are meaningless unless you have money to influence the creation and enforcement of a reparations bill. Talk to him. God. ADOS is a distraction to keep African slaves. Y'all, y'all listen to what? And now returning to the motherland. Read and reread what. Okay. Fosa said just okay. because you call yourself that does not mean that's what it is we don't have a problem with that but understand just because you as y'all want to clown folk for identifying they always want to clown right. people for identifying stuff but this is what you're doing right i identify as an american descendant of slaves your ass is black mm -hmm. you are an african you are a stolen african when you are in a situation with these race soldiers or you're right. private thing no one's going to say what's your lineage right so again not to say it doesn't matter for a claim but when you socially cloak yourself in that and let that be the your, your your identity as opposed to an African who is subjugated and is trying to liberate themselves and other African people, you 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 are short sighted. That's a serious mistake in uh, analysis. Hmm. Shout out to everybody in the hmm. uh, uh, shout out to everybody in the chat room. Make sure you hit that like button. We have two hundred forty one people watching, only yeah. hundred eight likes. Please hit that. Uh, Please hit that like button. Uh, ADOS is good for census and business purposes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I, I can dig so. it. And business purposes. Well, yeah, for sure, because like like certain things that are allotted to us from things that our ancestors have done, right? Uh, like when it comes to uh, from the vaccine and things like that, we fought for that. We we earned that. We do that. So I I can I can dig that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about people who say they're Hebrew is like Aborigines from Turtle Island? Okay, so now this just goes on to the escapism. You got different types of escapism in this world, right? And if we think of the essence of escapism, it's basically my reality is so bleak and so hard. I just want to create another one and just right. say it's something else. Listen, we're, we're oppressed. We're subjugated. That's okay. Because as fighters, we can win. The fight ain't over till it's over. As long as you allow, what did our brother uh, Ball would say? I can't, I can't be uh, uh, a pessimist because I'm alive. So as long as we're alive, you know, there's always a chance that we can win. Don't, don't, don't give up. And when y'all, when, when we got folk that are prioritizing, saying that everything but uh, an African, you're right. giving up. You're saying, I don't want to identify with this because this is the losing team. Right. Stick with your team. Empower your team. Watch when people, when, when, when black folk get on cold, watch how many people become team black. Right. Now, right. You know, we, right. we weren't born in the 70s, but you, but you, you, you understand when, when James Brown, you know, I'm black and I'm proud. proud. Right. Like, oh, not, being black was the rage. Right, exactly. Everybody was black, right? right? Because it was the style. Right. So you had black folk that were on code because they were going to continue to be on code. Right. And you also had black folk who was just, this some fly shit to do right now because black is in, you dig? And right. then they got off code. So it's the same thing, you know? We want everybody to get on code. It's, it's up for us. It's up to the committed to make that thing to be. And we do that by changing the power dynamic that um, we're in with. We're not up to be. Hmm. Let's see, see what else we got here in the chat room. I'm not, I'm not kicking Mansa out. I just, you know, he has to stand over there. Oh, they, they're barking on you. They yeah, barking. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> on you. they're like the young king. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he yeah, trying to get in it. Yeah, he's trying to get it. He ready. <laughs> uh, what what do you? Somebody just made a, a comment in the uh, in the uh, in, in the chat room. Damn, I'm trying to find it. Well, let me read uh, a uh, Shout out to Afosa again for the super chat. Uh, the fact that U.S. government attains a race-based census is proof enough that the Caucasians who created this nation did so with a racial hierarchy in mind. Folks are dropping high fire on y'all yeah. today, man. Y'all stop playing. These people are race first. They're race first. Everybody knows that. They're yeah. not, even the women, they're not, they're not gender first. They're right. not nationality first. They are race first. Mm -hmm. Just like everybody else. They say we built everything in the USA and y'all want to give away your rights to claim Africa. Huh? No, 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 no. no. No, brother. Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm I'm glad they said that. All right. Okay, listen. 
when you say i'm going to paraphrase but you say we built everything in the usa and you want to give up your rights to claim africa what rights are we giving up brother <laughs> tell me what rights do i not have because i say i'm an african All right i'm gonna wait i'm gonna keep talking but when you do i want to see that so the question was what rights am i giving up to say i'm african that's one two you are african whether you say you are or not you are an african um also yes we built everything in this country so we are due but we are not not getting our due because we're not claiming people been saying they're african-american right it's not like oh well if we say we african-american white daddy gonna give us this right <laughs> what are you talking about you do you think do you think you know some of these people don't know they know how this country was built they got pictures of the shit. they got they got stop it. let me just be, be clear we when we're this is a family discussion so so i'm not talking at anybody i'm speaking to someone right. okay but so i want to i want i want to be clear but when you talk about what do you mean claim in africa this is where you're from right this is where you're from right this country is a criminal settler colony period now you can claim it we definitely reap the benefits from it understand that right. you know, i tell folk all the time all the problems we got globally is better Africans in America, of course, we got things that we need to work on, but but understand, like travel. You see how our families live in other places, especially in Brazil. Mm -hmm. do, oh, goodness. Um, so so again, take advantage of that. Take advantage of it and do something with it. I'm no one stopping you from getting reparations. No non-American African person is stopping you from getting reparations. The only person that's stopping you from getting reparations is the person who's in a position to give you reparations. So if you want to get those reparations, you reparations, you talk to that man. Don't talk to, to me or any other African who's proud to be African and say, you know, oh, because y'all claim in Africa, y'all messing up my bag. Right. Stop, man. <laughs> I'm, and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to chill, Temp. I'm trying to like Come on, man. So it, it, by claiming ah. Africa, are you messing up the bag? Oh, we messing the bag up. <laughs> we messing the bag up. Uh -huh. You know, you because you calling yourself African, that's why we don't got these reparations. Uh -huh. So so before the concept, not not the ideology of ADOS, but before the name right. ADOS, it's relatively new, a couple years ago. Yeah. So before that, why didn't we get the reparations? Why didn't we get the reparations then? Is it because people was calling themselves African? Come on. Let's see here. Uh, I can't pronounce Kanan Malu. Kana Malu. Enough respect. Thank you so much, brother, for the super chat. Respect. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. But y'all family's in here. Yeah, man. Heavy, man. Out today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And guys, I'm doing the tour. The tour is in August. Okay. I just, uh, if you guys are following me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, also, if you follow <laughs> this guy right here, man. Also, if you follow me on uh, well, here, if you check the community uh, post, um, I'll put the details up on a tour and also I'll share them real quick too before we close out. Yes, uh, bag up, shout out to Ifosa. Uh, Rwanda became successful by dropping their tribal identity and accepting their racial identity. As Pan Africans, Anglos, and French and Saxons beef, but they still put race first. Speak on it, brother. Uh, Speak on it. Let's see. Someone says that's a straw man. Um, explain, uh -huh. please, brother. Ex expound on that. I'm not knocking it. Okay, if it's, if that's a straw man argument. That I don't know exactly what they're referring to. Some I say something, you say something, somebody else yeah, said, yeah, yeah. but expound on that uh for us. Because I want to have like, yo, we want to have this discussion. Right. Well, we were talking about this right. before we said we want to have this discussion. The type of things that we want African people to be talking about, let's have a discussion. Mm -hmm. Bring it up, but but don't be just throwing little slicks and that's a straw man. Like, okay. Right. Expound right. on that. What do you, what what's a straw man? And and, and a straw man as opposed in, in response to what? Let's see here. Uh, shout out. Let's see here. Uh, uh, this might be off topic, but what role will renewable energy and high speed rail systems have in the future for Africa? Yeah. Just a thought of infrastructure, a huge future. It could play a huge role. Yeah, yeah. I'm especially really, as a modernizer, especially for as sure. a modernizer. I'm really ignorant to a lot of the newer updates with that, but just from, from what I've read, man, you know what I mean? Cheap, effective, and a lot of times, times things like that, just who, who jumps on board early. Mm -hmm. I mean, who gets it out first? So I, you know. If you know more about that, please, I would, you know, ed educate me. All right, let's see your sentence. Let's see what else we got here in the chat room. Uh, did, did, our, did our brother who uh, we asked that question to, did he get back? Uh, I'm trying to find. Oh, Shirley, Shirley, you coming on next, Shirley. 
Shirley, who's on? I said four, it's not seven yet. It's not seven. I said I said four o'clock your time. Oh, Shirley, me, me and Shirley, hey guys, me and Shirley are doing a show right after this. And brother uh, Dewan, he's, he's here. We'll do it together. In fact, this is what we'll do. Shirley, you ready? Jump, get, get the system okay, on. no, 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 no. We'll do, hey guys, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna close out, and then Shirley, Shirley, I'm gonna send you the link here in about 15 minutes. Shirley, I'm gonna send you a link in about 15 minutes. You'll be ready in 15 minutes. So let's do this. Um, Brother Dewan, go ahead and close out. Then I'm going to talk about the tour. And then Shirley's going to come on in 15 minutes. Okay, Ben. Look, just want to say much, much love and respect, African family. I appreciate every every one of you. I'm um, glad we're here. Much love, respect, and appreciate to our brother Dinus for basically facilitating this dialogue. Um, Y'all, keep in touch. Keep in touch. I'm, I'm on Facebook. I'm what's on your, what's your email address? Uh, yeah. Uh, D-J-U-A-N-O-W-E-N-S. The number eight five mm -hmm. at gmail.com. I'm basic like that, man. Okay. Uh Dewan Owens85 at gmail.com. And um on Facebook, it's just Dewan Owens. Okay. And if y'all want to see me throwing them things, like I said, I got plenty of fights on uh on, on YouTube and stuff like that. I got some stuff coming up. My Canada family, I'm coming to Canada for a fight next month, main event exclusive. I'm just announcing that now. I'm gonna drop it on Facebook later. Mm -hmm. And then uh shout out to Austin W for the super chat. Dinus, my brother, off subject, but just found out through African ancestry that my Patriarchal lineage is from the Fang people of Gabon. Respect. And my matriarchal lineage is from the Tikar of Cameroon. And yeah. Fosa, thank you so much, brother. There we go. Real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, for my, I'm not African, I'm American folk. Trace your lineage. I've done it twice. I'm like. Oh, yeah, but, but for them, it's uh, it's DNA. It's a, uh, it's a hoax. It's not real. So oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's, well, it's well, conspiracy theory. Conspiracy here's, theory. Here's, here's a crazy thing from that. I did two separate companies, very similar. Both of them uh, said Mali was over 40%. But another thing, my grandmother took it. I didn't know she took it. I didn't tell them she took it. And they said, this person might be your grandmother or grandmother's sister. So mm -hmm. the hoax explain that. Yeah. You know and I mean? uh, Mar Marilyn Million Harris, I have invited Antonio Harris, Tone Taunts, and Yvette Carnell to have a dialogue on here. So uh, I, I've, I, I've invited them. Yeah. No response. And, and, and to be clear, listen, I, I, I rock with I rock with Tone. I rock with you. I, I, I like, yeah. you know, I like yeah. what they do. I don't agree with with everything because again the essence of of pan-africanism is revolution period you understand we we are not settling with us our, our, our place in the, the pecking order of the world in the way and just because i'm we okay mm -hmm. you know over here relatively speaking you know it doesn't mean that anybody else issue isn't isn't our issue mm -hmm. um that being said you know family we can we can disagree with folk and still love them as long as they're not out here harming African people. So yeah. we really got to understand that. I, I don't like this idea of ADOS Ness being juxtaposed with Pan Africanism right. because it doesn't make any sense. That's the beauty of Pan Africanism. Pan Africanism says, look, as long as you black first, it's on. Right. You could be any any religious, sexual orientation, whatever. African liberation priority, and you, you know, and we rock them. And uh, Ifosa, last comment, w World War One and World War II, white slaughter whites, but they held back enough to leave enough whites behind to maintain control of their former colonies. True. Lastly, I kept yeah. saying lastly, but to piggyback on that point, you all, Scramble for Africa, or so-called so Berlin Conference, this is the essence of, of white collaboration. All these different uh, white uh, power structures saying like, look, y'all, this is love, Negroes and land for all of us. Why are we killing each other? Let's just divide this shit up like a pie. Look, we the British, we the strongest, so it's it's safe to say we would win if we go to war. So we're gonna get the prime land that we want. You know, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get that. Do the research; is 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 there? This is this is the essence of uh, white first and white identity prioritizing. And again, these people were fighting; they they were warring. They were like, no, this this our land. Somebody said, you know what? We don't need to do this. It's enough for all of us, right? Right? And they decided the fate of Africa without us in the room. And then you still have African people in the diaspora and on the continent arguing over these damn lines that were drawn by the same people that oppress you. So marinate right. on that. True facts. And real quick, guys, before we close out, I just want to share with you the the uh, details uh, for the tour. Uh, so everyone's been asking, uh, Dinus, when are you going to do a tour to Africa? Dinus, mm -hmm. when are you doing a tour? So guess what? I'm doing a tour. Let me share the screen real quick. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's share the screen. Let's show you right here. Everybody, so I will be doing a tour. 
These are the details. All right. So this is the tour package. All right. Flight is not included, but everything else is. So transportation, IFA divination, traditional food. Uh, we're going to give you an outfit to wear to the festival. And I will help arrange your flights and your visas. And I will, I will highly recommend to get a yellow v, yellow fever vaccine mm. because obviously if you're going to go to you're going to want to go to more than one African country in the future. They're going to ask for it. So this is what is included. Contact information. Reach out to me. And this is for the Osun Festival, okay, which is August. The tour dates are August 12th to the 19th. The festival is the the festival is uh, August 16th. So we're gonna be in Osun State primarily. We're gonna go to Ilife. We're gonna go to my kingdom of Oruwo. Uh, we're gonna be traveling around. It's gonna be fun, you know, nightlife, all that good stuff. So please reach out. And there it is. The first ever in search of Uhuru 2019 Osun Festival Tour. This is the first one. So again, people who are interested, please reach out. Uh, and I got you. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking yes, forward indeed. to it. In search of Uhuru. That's that's what we in search for. Yeah, exactly. So tough. There we go. So everyone who is interested, please, please join us. This first tour is just Nigeria. Yes, the first one is just Nigeria. But uh, in the future, uh, there will be more outside of Nigeria. So please join us. So until next time, family. Uh, so in 15 or 20 minutes, we're going to be on with Shirley Huzar. So looking forward to that. So until next time, family, Dinah Samir, Dewan Owens. Go to search for Huru on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Till next time, family. Peace.